Hey guys, it's Hilton. I need to, I see there's somebody there. I just need to uh, make sure my audio is working. I haven't been able to test it. So my mobile phone is just really struggling to pick up a signal. I'm going to come through here and uh, do a, um, a live on showing you how to uh, install a bot and okay my audio is working I've seen that cool all right so today I want to uh, give you a, uh, a free template from Alfredel over at uh, local marketing pro and the subject today is all about um, contact tracing so basically here in Western Australia uh, restaurants are allowed to open with 20 people um, maximum. Um, the the usual laws uh, rules stay in place, like uh, social distancing of 1.5 meters or one person per per square, four square meters, etc. But the additional uh, requirements are that. Uh, let me just uh, bring you to a page to show you that. Um, let's bring you to my screen. Let me just get my uh, screen up. I think it's here. Okay. So what they call so there's this PDF. Uh, I will put this link on the post. I didn't do that. So if you stick around to the end, I'll give you a link to this. So it's really relevant for people in Western Australia. But number five, the point number five, response planning. Um, businesses are required to keep um, attendance records. It is a requirement for businesses to maintain attendance records of patrons. This will assist public health with contact tracing in the event of a positive COVID-19 case on your premises. So the records can be physical. Yuck. So this is the whole point. We're trying to eliminate physical. So if you read the whole post that comes out of uh, Local Marketing Pro, um, thanks Laurie for the uh, content there. Um, the, the physical aspect of it, handling paper documents, handling pens, uh, then filing the paperwork. Uh, it, it, what we're trying to do is provide a solution here to eliminate the, uh, the paper or the physical aspect of it. So it, it goes on to say, or electronic. So electronic is totally okay. Um, and the minimum must include a name and some contact, contact information such as a phone or a phone number or email address. I'm gonna show you how to set up in Messenger. So we're using tools that you are already familiar with, tools that are easy to use, tools that you are familiar with, like Facebook Messenger and Google Sheets. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna integrate Facebook Messenger. People will come into your, your premises they will um, create, they will scan a code, um, or there's alternative ways to get them in, in there. But I'm gonna try and keep this video short. They scan a code, they come in, you ask them uh, for their contact details, and you save those details to a Google Sheet. So you now have a safe record. Um, hey, Alok, Amanda, thank you for joining in. Uh, just type your comments if you've got any comments. Um, these are awesome, LMP members and so they've got this they got access to this already um, if you post your comments there they can help you as well I'm sure so let's uh, let's get into uh, showing you what's involved in setting up in in this post there will be a link to the the official installation instructions and uh, then there will be uh, in, in, the, in the YouTube link, there'll be links to the PDF um, that you'll be able to get access to the template and to the Google Sheet. But I'll just go demonstrate this to you now, how to, how to set this all up. Hey, look, I'm doing great, thanks. Um, I'm just coming on here because I want to uh, show people how they can set up in Messenger um, and where people are you know, talking to business pages all the time how they can contact, uh, collect contact details. 
So first of all, what we want to do is go and grab, let me see where this information is. So this is the template. I'm just going to install it again. So you'll get it from the, uh, the PDF that you'll get. You'll get this link. You'll click on this link. And this is your experience that you'll have when you click on this link. <laughs> Thanks for the shout out, Alok. That's awesome. So guys, you have to bear with me. We see a lot of white screen over here. Um, it's just the way it is that uh, once I'm streaming, it's, everything is uh, pretty, pretty slow. All right, let me see. That did not work. I need to come here and let me just get this uh, link again. I won't be long. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, so I am picking up the, uh, the link for the template. This is it here. Just wait for that to load up. And is it morning over there, Amanda? Let me see. time is it yeah probably like eight o'clock in the morning or something okay so once you uh, click on the link to install the template let's get into this you will see that you are going to get one growth tool which is going to be the QR code to so people can scan to get in there is also an option to use a keyword which would be trace so staff would say message a page and just uh, send the send the message trace um, and you can customize that if you want and then there's two flows and uh, we are only going to be co concentrating on the get info flow here in Western Australia, South Africa, um, or well, the whole of Australia, the UK, uh, text messaging does not work on the platform that we're using. So we're using ManyChat and you are going to need to fork out 10 US dollars a month for the platform because the features that we have in this chatbot are pro features. So anyway, once you uh, get this page, just click install. And choose a page. So uh, I am going to choose my restaurant demo page, which is this one here, Hilt, uh, Apronio Tavern Demo Bot. So I'm gonna install it on there. Hey, I love doing the lives because you make mistakes, but it's, it's live anyway, so you can't, if, if it's not live, you just want to stop and fix it and make it perfect. So once I've chosen my page, what, what you do need to pay attention, if you've installed the Local Marketing Pro gift bot, which is free, um, if you haven't got that and you want a, a gift, gift card bot where you can sell gift cards, uh, contact me and I'll, put you, I'll point you in the right direction. So if you've installed that, or if you're a digital marketer and you uh, want a, um, an agency bot, we provide that as well. And uh, so if you've installed any of these bots before, you do need to go and check your template fields and your page, your, your target page bot fields match. Otherwise, you're gonna land up with uh, duplicate. Um, cool, it is 8.15 in South Africa. You are going to land up with uh, different uh, like duplicates, okay? So you wanna make sure that they match. And generally, they always, um, you know, it, it, it finds the matching field, but you just wanna check that. So once you do that, you just go install. So now the template uh, is installed. Now, typically we um, have chatbots that we set up and we customize them with uh, features for s s running coupon campaigns or viral giveaways, etc. With this uh, 
chatbot that we're setting up here for contact tracing. Uh, there are no template fields. All you need to do is go straight into your settings. So if you just go down here, you just click on settings and it's going to drop up, uh, it's going to bring up a, a drop down menu over here and then just look for, uh, for custom fields over here. In the custom fields, we also have, uh, we have, we have custom user fields over there. And, but if you scroll down to the bottom, we've got what we call the bot fields. So in the bot fields, you want to set up your business address. Um, it's not, you don't need it for this particular bot installation. What you do need for this bot installation is the business name because the business name is going to come forward and it's going to say um, in the in the flow it's it's going to welcome people from that business you also want to set up your business website so this i i did a practice run and so these fields have already been um, populated but what i've got here is a link to my online menu for this demo site so those are the two things you want to do is make sure that you fill in your business name and and your business website so I'm actually going to motor through this because it's not actually an installation instruction fully because we will uh, you will get that uh, on the YouTube in the link that's in this post. The other thing that you want to do is uh, you want to and I'm going to install it on this uh, account is you want to install the Google Sheet um, so. Again, in the PDF that you will get underneath the YouTube, you'll get a link like that, Docs. And when you click on that, all you'll need to do is uh, make a copy. Okay, I'm not going to do that now because I already have a copy. So I have a copy here. It's called Contact, Contact Tracing by Local Marketing Pro. And it's in my business account, my Hilton David O, or not my Hilton David O, but my Apreneur Studios Gmail account. I keep all of that stuff sort of separate and um, so not sure if uh, yeah it did show you okay I just wasn't sure if that uh, showed you so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my flows and I'm going to go set up my integration I'm going to show you quickly how to do the set up the integration so in my flows I'm going to look for my folder that I've just installed and this is it here so you can see I've hovered over to Local Marketing Pro Contact Tracing and in there there'll be another folder Contact Tracing and again um, let's get info okay I've got a question here is there another way besides the QR scan code to get people into the bot Amanda absolutely and um, so what I would be considering is putting it in as in the persistent menu so you just go to automation um, menu and just add a link there. So when people open up Messenger, they they can easily be instructed to find the uh, the menu. Um, I've got to try and distinguish between food menu and bot menu. They'll they'll find the bot menu that they can click. Another way is they can use a keyword. They can just send a message to the business. Um, and then there's also the uh, more complex way really to uh, set up outside integrations where people need to send a, uh, a text message like you know uh, contact send send a keyword contact to this you know some mobile phone number or something but that's sort of like uh, overkill so uh, if you can think of any other ways uh, just drop them in the comments so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna edit this flow And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect up my Google Sheet to this chatbot. And I'll I'm just showing you how easy this all is. So uh, I just scroll along and I come to this action. So actions number two. And uh, I just click on Google Sheets integrations. And I'm going to click on this in insert uh, row one. So I've already uh, connected my sheets so there it is uh, contact tracing by local marketing pro and the worksheet that I'm going to be using is customers so let me see if I can show you over here see 
it shows customers and go back to the, uh, the bot if you don't if you haven't already connected your uh, your bot to Google let me just show you that quickly while that loads I'll just go back here so uh, what I've got to do next is I've got to map this data I'm just waiting for this to scroll okay so the mapping is pretty easy so all I've got to do here is look for full name if I start typing full name it will come there and it's a system field I can just click on it and the same with uh, first name just click on first name so we can see the the many chat data in the bot is being matched to the Google stuff and last name my system is hung up let me just go here and see make sure there's no conflict and I'm just going to show you how to I know I'm jumping all over the place um, I've got to go to uh, settings not automation but settings and when you go to settings you got to look for integrations you just go to integrations and then in here it, you would just basically uh, select the Google account that you want to um, authorize to have access to um, many chat so it's as simple as that let's get back to uh, setting up the integration so uh, I'm looking for the last name L-A-S-T got last name let's just get rid of that multimedia messages are now available for SMS that's good to know and then phone and then email most of these are all straightforward I'm doing this to show you which ones are not messenger ID is not messenger ID but it's um, user ID so that's the first one that you you need to know if you're not in the know you need to know that gender is the same and then the check-in time is going to be contact trace check-in time that's one you don't know that I'm showing you here and then business name will be the same there we go business name and that's it and then we'll just save those and what you also want to do is you'll want to come in here and you will want to edit your copy so I would be going through it's not long it's only a few uh, sentences but you'd want to come in here for example and change this information here the uh, CDC stuff and make it appropriate for your um, you know for where you are so uh, I've got this uh, text that I prepared and I'll just go in here and I will paste this in here so I've made it uh, relevant to WA um, yeah and then just go through the the conversation and make sure it is all good I'm going to publish this now and I am going to um, show you the growth tools so if I just click on growth tools the uh, the standard growth tool that uh, comes with this free bot is your QR code so to get your QR code you can just click it on on QR code over there and if you scroll down there's your code and then you can download that code so if you're a digital marketing agency like Alok or Amanda you will download this code as a PDF and you would email it over to your um, your prospect, your client that you're helping. Um, you could take it one step further, and you could put it into something like Canva with some instructions for the patrons. Um, you know, scan this code to register or something along those lines. 
So, um, Amanda, on Friday I went from, for an eye test, had to fill in a form with eight questions. That was clipboard and pen. So everyone touching the board, wow. Can you add extra questions? If, yes, you can definitely. I mean, the bot is totally, thanks for that question, Amanda. The bot is totally customized. What you're getting is the basic um, minimum. And another add-on that people would want to incorporate is they want to be asking right at the end, is asking a question along the lines of, hey, um, would you be interested in joining our VIP club? If you've got a VIP club or if you're just going to create one now, and uh, then people have got an option there to say yes or no. And if they say yes, you can tag them as being interested in the VIP club. And then you have this thing that's called a, uh, an OTN or a one-time notification. You can ask them, okay, so that we can send you an offer, um, you know, please uh, subscribe to the one-time notification. And uh, that means Outside of the 24 hours, you now have permission to message all of these people when you have some kind of special coming up. The other thing that you can do, of course, is you can go into a, um, a text marketing um, campaign. So I'm part of this uh, company called Jockster that do text message marketing. And so you have their number, so you can ask them um, if they are prepared to uh, receive messages um, for text messaging so anyway get the uh, scan code and uh, I'm going to now demonstrate this to you so uh, let me see if I can bring up my mobile phone here and scan this code and let me see what do I need to do to the camera to the bot okay so I've got my camera open and I'm going to scan the code so iPhones have got the scanner built in and Androids the, the, the latest Androids have got it scanned in and uh, new uh, oldest Androids you'll have to download a, a special app for this if you're going to use this method so that's brought up open in messenger so I'm going to open up in messenger and uh, Okay, so I uh, I'm gonna do this properly. I I uh, I did not um, set up the uh, the privacy policy. So let me just go back to and show you where that is. Let me just share my screen. So in the uh, in the settings in the custom fields. Well, did I show you? Actually, I can't remember. I might have. In the custom fields, if you go down to the bot fields, you have another field here that is called Okay, the business privacy. That one is not set. If I go there Okay, I don't have it there. Let me uh, I, can, I know what it is, so I'll just put it in. you forward slash privacy so you 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 put that in there so that when people let's go back to the bot and go there make sure I'm showing you the right screen I think that looks good um, when people come into the bot um, the our privacy policy that's where they'll be taken to that link that you put in the settings and am I showing yeah I am showing the screen so yeah this is what happens when people um, scan that code it says hi Hilton welcome to Appreneur if you don't mind we need to get your contact info in order to comply with COVID-19 local guidelines on contact tracing tracing this helps us protect others and you, and we thank you in advance for your cooperation. So if people want to know what's the deal with the, with the data that they provide, they can go to your privacy policy. Um, if you don't have a privacy policy, you can maybe find a generic one that you can put in there, or um, yeah, not sure. You'd have to come up with some solution. 
um, and then we ask them, okay, great, what's your best email? So I've already been through this bot, so I've, it's a, it already, uh, uh, no, it's, if, it already, if I'd already been through the bot, it would know, and I, I would just have to press yes. So when they're coming through the first time, that you just press, uh, so it seems like it's already got my phone number because it hasn't asked for phone number. So usually it would be asking for phone and email, so that's the deal there. Um, okay, so you can see that uh, it, it knew my phone number, so for some reason, because I've been through the bot, it's got my phone number and then it's saying um, your phone number is that. And I'm just going to change my email because it didn't pick up my email. This is like it's saying and your email is blank. Let me just do it again and see what happens. There's a bug, eh? Because it should show what my email is and it's not. I'm going to change my email. And I'm going to type it in. Let's see if it saves it this time. Okay, I will need to investigate that, but uh, it is not picking up my uh, bot. I mean, I know ex where I should go and look for it in the flow, and uh, I'm not sure why that's not updating. So I'm just going to click yes for the purpose of this demonstration. And then I just get a thank you. Thanks so much, Hilton. We appreciate your help in keeping everyone healthy and safe. Enjoy your visit. And then what if you've got a, uh, a, a menu that's online, then you can dump that. So we sh I showed you how to where to put that. And then when p people click the menu, they can view the menu and they can order verbally. Um, or if they want to, they can even order online. So look, it, it comes up really nice. Um, people can go into a category and uh, have a look and see you know what desserts or what burgers they want drinks and uh, probably if they're in the restaurant they're not going to be ordering it online but uh, just making the order but the the menu is available on their device they don't have to go and touch a paper menu so it just adds to the contactlessness so this this is all available um, setting up the menus is not part of the the chatbot that you can if you go through other videos you'll find ways on how to set up the menu um, I can certainly help you with that um, but that's really what I wanted to show you is uh, mm -hmm. how to install this uh, chatbot let me just bring myself on here and bring that up so uh, yeah um, I broke Al's bot um, it's not saving the emails I'm not going to go in there now and look for it but what I would do is I'd go in the flow and I'd see if the email field is the correct field in the bot. And uh, I'd, like, I just want to dive in there and jump in there. I'm going to look and see if there's any more questions. Um, cool. Looks like that's it. Um, yeah, guys, the, uh, the links are all there. It's totally free. Thank you for staying right to the end of this uh, video, which has uh, gone on for just over half an hour. And uh, yeah, please uh, share this content uh, with people if you know that they need a solution for collecting data um, electronically because it's tools that most people have used before and they know. Thanks for all the likes and the hearts and uh, I will catch you on the next live. See ya. Bye.